um, cumulatively from all of the weeklies that are involved. And this is this happens every month, you said? Or every uh, three months? Every season? Or just this yeah, season? Yeah, it's, it's a three month long season. We can go into the details later of it. Yeah, but right now we have Nelvin. I haven't heard this name in a while. Yeah. Versus Mr. E. I didn't know who he was at first, but I just, uh, I just heard um, someone say to him, hey, some winners? And he was like, yeah, I'm some soul winners. So. <laughs> And I know E has been playing very well as of late. Uh, he had ridiculous sets last night against yeah. he's open, right? And this is just a different breed of Diddy compared to Dill. Uh, already you can tell, all up in your face. That was so smart, Mr. E. Most people want to say, oh, Mr. E matches. Not when you make a play like that. No, yeah, a lot of what he's doing when he's pressing buttons is just a matter of him just, like staying. I mean, keeping, he's forcing his opponent on his toes. And he's constantly looking for a way to press the envelope on where what he can do when he has advantage. Oh, now they're really putting to use some tools of uh, Diddy that we didn't really get a chance to see from uh, from Dill. Namely, we're seeing a lot of the side bait. Down to up smash. I'm surprised that still worked. I think Martha's just that really good weight for it. Maybe it was poor DI as well. I mean, that, that's always been uh, like one of the drawbacks of Martha is that he's like just right for a lot of different styles of combos. All right, but that is a perfect yeah. place. Nelvin is, has been running away with this lead. Already has Mr. E at 74% and climbing. I'm gonna put him at the ledge. Get up a ledge trap situation starting. And Nelvin's doing a really good job just running with the momentum that he's garnered from the first stock. And he's already managed to have E left in percentage. Yeah, and E cannot really find an answer right now. It, we'll have to see. The answer might be Lucina, because that character has this way more consistent like kill power. Yeah, this, this Diddy Kong is running with the same fervor as if the character was being played in Smash 4, so <laughs> it might be exactly. that same answer. Yeah, Smash 4 Diddy also gave Mark some trouble. Didn't, so you, say, so you know, same thing. Didn't really let him jump for free. Uh, uh, really got really hard punishes on his uh, hit confirms. And Nelvin doing a great job of forcing out more of the uh, reactionary play from E by just chilling at the ledge. There's only so much that E can do if he's going to be like punished just for jumping. Yeah, and uh, I just want to touch up on how Mr. E, or Marth in general, Marth and Lucina do not have their kill throws anymore. Instead, they just kind of toss you. And, you know, it's not really threatening. But the, the, the dragon, dragon punch, whatever they call it. All the DP? It is a DP. Yeah. Like in everything but aesthetic. But um <laughs> But yeah, it's a really good out of shield option and does manage to net out the kill. However, he's got quite a work ahead of himself. He's sitting at 81 on his last stock. Nelvin Chillin's still on his second. Yeah, no one's no one's been playing really well this um entire game. It just Mr. E has not really found an answer. Maybe somebody will come right now. The spark's at 70 something percent. Yeah, now Tipper and Rage, that's something else. It's, yeah, that's a, that's a force to be reckoned with. Down to fair. History in a, such a bad position right now. 127% new climbing in disadvantage state. And Dancing Blade, a much more different tool from what we're used to seeing. Yeah, and that's good idea. I think they gave that move a buff actually, making it kill a bit earlier. It does, yes. Yeah, which makes sense because they want to they wanna balance out all the tools so everything's utilized, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, um, so good stuff to Nelvin. However, that was only game one. It's going to be interesting to see how E adapts because I figure a change of scenery or potentially a change to Lucina could radically change what we had in front of us because Nelvin just ran away with that. Complete stage control, forcing E at the ledge and not even really able to do anything. Yeah, E is very smart. Um, I definitely will see the adaptations he'll make. So we'll see what changes going in the game too. He does have counter pick advantage. I don't think he wants to go back. He's going to go to Smashville instead, which makes okay. sense. Uh, that stage doesn't have nearly um, as tighter blasts as it did in the previous iteration of Smash. But it's still one of the smaller ones. And <laughs> funny enough, I think Town has like, the biggest ceiling now. Yeah, it's uh, like Town, as of this stage list, is the uh, has the tallest ceiling. Yeah. Uh, I know the only other stage that's considered oh, that's for it. competitive play. He kicked. He didn't want the kick. That's gruesome. You never want to see something like that, especially so early into the set, but... The mystery will take it. Yeah. <laughs> Melvin, on the other hand, is going to need to make that up real quick. Ooh, but still not finding any hit yet. Mystery has just gone. He's going sickle mode. He's yeah. doing it again, but he, he really is. Oh my he god, snapped. Mystery! <laughs> He's popping off! 
Yo, Fiend Mage. Exactly. The spacing is beautiful. He, he he heard us and he was like, I don't even see that. Oh yeah, he woke up. Who? Remind me? Yeah, you brought up the um one of the differences of Smash 4 from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Another thing I want to highlight is the fact that this is uh, a hazardless Smash build. It gives a lot less credence to uh, to Diddy's tools that were normally super good for controlling the stage. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, no, that was Nelvin knew. I think, that was I think. An insane game too. Yeah, he aside from the SD, that zero to death was just so crisp with the temper F smash on let. That's what you love to see. Every time I see a temper F smash, I just get chills down my spine. Like that first stock, that that was grim. No one really wanted to see that. Even even E is not happy when he gets stocks and wins out of SDs like that. But that second stock, that's the kind. That's all that him. You, that's what you come to see when you're looking for Mister S play. <laughs> Like, New York doesn't doesn't guess this man up without purpose. Like, we don't just say he's one of the best and then let him do his thing. Like, that, that's the proof. All right, all right. Uh, gonna stick with the Marth and Diddy as well. I think Melvin knows that first stock was kind of a flunk, so he doesn't want to exactly, like, just, just haul on that and switch characters. I'm gonna go back to PS2. I can see why he won. He did win game one here. Yes. He convincingly, too. I think it's just a matter of, like, how is he going to... I, I feel like Nelvin's not going to get shaken too hard from that game, too. Because even though there was an incredible game, two for Mr. A, uh, it was also very quick. There wasn't a lot of time for Nelvin to, like, like draw on the fact that it wasn't that great of a game for him. He can bring himself back to speed very well, and it's already showing in his play. He's got a very convincing lead percentage-wise, and the stage, once again, is under complete control of Diddy Kong. Yeah, I didn't even realize how Nelvin is just running away with this. And that was such a scary situation for him. Marth is just like notorious edge guarding. But he's gonna drop it in Mr. E dropping that stock as well. Only 43% built up on to Diddy. I'm surprised this wasn't one of Mr. E's bands, but um he will need to find an answer soon. I can't believe that didn't make it back. Yeah, no, that is not nearly as good as a recovery tool as it once yeah. was. You can't charge it as long, doesn't travel as much of a distance because of that. And generally speaking, Magna Hands isn't as prevalent. So all these factors combined, Diddy not having as much fun offstage. Nope. Although it is keeping us in a much more even and very fast-paced battle. Yeah, we are seeing a much more even game right now. I think this is like the uh, the tightest game we've had in this set today. Mr. E looking for the for the tech chase scenario, but he's gonna pop out the side B. Not looking too good for him. But you <laughs> just heard Day shriek for the S match and it didn't even matter. Not even going anywhere. Look at look at this. It seems like E has completely adapted his style of play around Nelvin now. Oof, that's, that's been happening so much, Mr. E. That's so unfortunate. Not to mention that Mina would have been a sock for him, too. Yeah, the fact that... Da so Dancing Blades changed animations from the fact that it's at a set tempo now. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to miss, but if he does land it for the forward finish, it's almost exclusively going to end with a tipper, which has shown that it can kill at pretty crazy percentages. Yes, and Diddy with a lead. I don't know if it's as prevalent as it was, but it is still very powerful. The, the Dolphin Slash coming out again. Well, we just gotta see if Mystery, Mystery has it in him to, to make another comeback. Had Banana in his grasp, he's gonna continue to try to utilize it against Nelvin, but Nelvin knows full and well what to do with that Banana when it's at his disposal. And just right, right, look at how quickly he builds up damage onto E. That's gonna be an easy punch for Mystery. He, he needs to put Nelvin in a situation where he's comfortable. Alright, Mystery running away with this right now. He has not been touched in a while. Seeing how long he keeps the momentum going for. But the banana is gonna hit gonna do some damage to him. Keep him keep his walls back to the wall. Ooh, and just like that, we have an even game to think Melvin had like 70%. And Mystery has not been touched yet! Ooh. But the S-Mash is not gonna come out in time. Oh! But that it's not going to kill. If that was Tipper, it would have been done for. Oh, 100%. But if that was Lucina, that definitely would have killed. The situations like those are so crucial. <gasps> That's where you got to hit the lab. You got to figure out, like, it would have been better to switch coming into this. But either way, he's committed to the Marth. And... Oh, no Yo, he went for the 
way! No way! <laughs> Yo. He popped off because he thought he won! That was so cool! Oh my Queen, God. I want to see that again. Look Wait. at that. Oh my God, that was crazy! Melvin had him too! He Ooh. goes to the phone smash and then just <laughs> like that! And you never see. Oh my you, god. <laughs> you never see mystery pop off either. You never see mystery pop off like that either. That was that was That, that was, was so good. That was I, I gotta like oh, I wait, wanna look back on. on those VODs. Wait, are we because in? I wish we had slow motion. I really wish we had slow motion because oh. look at the difference in this. He starts the up smash, and in that time, E managed to buffer the up B. The, dip, the frame difference in that had to have been like within like a three frame, maybe yeah. even two frame window. And I 